All right, so today we're talking about the sudoers file. So um, you, you've probably seen the message that says user is not in the sudoers file. This incident will be reported. So um, yeah, ba basically what that means is that that user is not um, does not have permission to run sudo as root. So um, ba basically the sudo command you're trying to run just doesn't have permissions and it's not set up in the sudoers file. So we're going to take a look at how you would set that up and uh, how it works. So I'm logged in as a user called user2 right now. And um, I, I basically sudoed from root to this user just so I could run commands as this user and check out their permissions. So um, let's say if I run sudo cat etsy shadow and uh, type in the password. And yeah, there we go. User2 is not in the sudoers file. This incident will be reported. So there we go. Um, so let's exit out of here, and uh, we're now we're root. Um, let's let's see. So let's take a look at the sudoers file. So vi etc sudoers, and here we go. Um, let me make this a little bit taller uh, since I'm basically recording my whole screen. And um, you see, there's different users um, in here. So uh, you see the the actual username and the privilege specifications and Generally, you, you when you grant someone all, pro you could specify certain commands that a user is allowed to run, but um, you could also just give give them all permissions to do whatever. Um, in any in any case, um, the the only actual user we see defined here is root, um, and uh, we have a group admin and a group sudo. Now, as it turns out, um, the normal group normally you would add a user to the group sudo, and um, then you would have this line here that sets it so that anyone in the group sudo has permission to do pretty much anything with the, the sudo command. So um, that, that's all fine and great and everything. Now we're going to go into any further detail uh, about how you could set this up to only run, give them per sudo permissions for one particular command. Um, th this is this is enough. Um, so anyways, you, you could add them to this group or you could just add a line that looks like this. So um, we're going to look at the group later, but first let's try adding this line. So yyp, yank, yank, put, and then uh, change this to uh, user2. And get out of there. Oops. And become user2 again. Now, as user2, we're logged in as user2 now. Um, let, let's try uh, sudo um, cat etsy shadow again. And let's see how that goes. Oops. There we go. It allows us to cat etsy shadow. So, um, yeah, that's my shadow file. I'm trying to think of if I should let people see these hashes, but... Um, these are not important hashes, and uh, yeah, these are these are not super secret files or anything. Actually, funny thing, these these two that these two hashes are actually for the same password, but it uses a salt value, so the the hashes actually come out differently. But uh, you, user one and user two. So um, there we go. Now that user has permission for that, so we're going to exit out of there, go back into sudoers, revoke that permission. Uh, right quit and become this user again and check that it doesn't work. So sudo cat etsy shadow and it same same error. Us, user2 is not in the sudoers file. This incident will be reported exactly as we'd expect. So exit back out to root and let's check the other way to set this up. So remember when we saw in the sudoers file we saw this uh, this line here that sets the group sudo and gives that group all permissions. Well, let's take a look at that group. So vi it's the group groups. Whoops, yeah, not groups. It's a group with no s. Um, and right here, we're we're already there. Sudo, yeah, I'd searched for this before. So. You'll notice user one is in here. I didn't set this. This is the default. This is the user from uh, when I installed the system. That was that was user one. That's the default user that I created. 
and then user two is just a test user I, I created for this video. So if we add uh, um, user two and uh, let's say exit out of there, and then you can become uh, user two again and see how that works. So sudo cat etsy shadow. And there we go. We have permission to do that again. So yeah, two ways you could do that. If you want to add your user to um, give your user sudo permission, you can um, yeah, you can either just at explicitly give that one specific user permissions, like like we, they're doing for root here, and this is by default, and um, or you could just add them to the sudo group. Now this is on Ubuntu. This is how they set things up on Ubuntu, and chances are that's probably how they do it on Red Hat, Fedora, or, or any other distro you're using. But there, it's not guaranteed. So depending on how the sudoers file is set up, just adding a user to the sudo group may or may not give you sudo permissions. If this sudo group is not in the Etsy sudoers file, adding a user to that group won't do anything. So you want to make sure the group is actually defined here also. Now if you wanted. You could, you could uh, if this group wasn't in this file, you could create the group, add the users to the group, and then add that group to this file. Or you could create a whole other group and uh, just use that. So it's, it's all up to you. Um, anyways, hopefully this was useful. If this saved you some trouble or you found it useful, give me a thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. Um, feel free to you know just like and subscribe. Click the little bell icon. If you thought this video was terrible or if you have criticism, feel free to leave a comment. If you like the video, also leave a comment. Whatever you have to say, um, criticism, praise, whatever, it, um, I, I wanna hear it all. I, I wanna hear what you think and, and what your thoughts are. So definitely leave a comment. And um, as always, thanks for watching.